क्लास थ्री
you, choir, for leading us through a heartwarming performance. Now let us turn to the Word of God with our Bible reading by Karen. Today's Bible reading is taken from Galatians chapter 5 verses 16 to 26. But I say, walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit. And the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing things you want to do. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now, the works of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Karen. The word of God provides us with guidance and strength. Thank you for sharing that scripture with us. I call upon Joash to bring to us the message. Reverend Sun Myung Moon once said, and I quote, A tree is fruitful when it becomes mature and bears fruit. Similarly, a fruitful individual is someone who is spiritually, intellectually, and emotionally mature and bears the fruit of love, wisdom, and goodness. Such an individual personifies God's own nature and heart. Unquote. Have you ever had a rotten or old fruit? Will it taste good? Obviously not. Yes, God only wants us to have delicious, good fruit. Rotten fruit resemble things like anger, selfishness, hatred, and jealousy. Fruit of the Spirit include actions like love, joy, peace, patience, faithfulness, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. So talking about delicious, fresh fruits helps us to remember the kind of traits that God, our Heavenly Father, wants to have. So, to have these traits in us, we need help from God. If you want the fruit of the Spirit, first, you need to ask God to live in you. And then the more you get to know Him, the more spiritual gifts He will help you have. Thank you. Thank you, Joash, for bringing to us such a meaningful message. We will now be serenaded with a special song by the Nightingales of Class 5.
was truly inspiring. Thank you students for that wonderful song. Let us now watch as class 5 demonstrates how we can show the work of the spirit through a skit. Good morning everyone. Today we have a special skit called Nurturing the Spirit. Our characters will bring to life the wonderful qualities known as the Nurturing the Spirit. Let's meet them. Joy, Joy enters, bouncing with excitement. Hi there, I am Joy and I bring happiness and laughter wherever I go. Love enters, forming a heart shape with her arms. Hello everyone, I am Love and I care deeply for others. I will show them how much they mean to me. Peace enters, making a peace sign. Greetings, I am Peace and I help people find calm and understanding in difficult situations. Patience enters, pretending to wait. Hey, I'm patience. I teach you to wait calmly and not get frustrated when things don't go as planned. Kindness enters, offering a helping hand. Hi, I'm kindness. I show compassion and lend a helping hand to those in need. Goodness enters, doing a thumbs up. Hello, I'm goodness. I encourage you to do what's right and to make positive choices. Faithfulness enters, making a handshake gesture. Greeting all, I'm faithfulness. I stand by your side through thick and thin, just like a loyal friend. Gentleness enters, moving gracefully. Hi there, I'm gentleness. I remind you to treat others with tenderness and care. Self-control enters, demonstrating restraint. Hey, I'm self-control. I help you to make wise decisions and to control your actions and words. The Garden Gathering All characters gather in the garden excitedly. Love suggests they work together to cultivate the garden and spread the fruits of the spirit. Patience is tending to a young sapling. The mischief of impatience enters. Impatience arrives, urging patience to hurry through his growth. Patience explains the importance of waiting and nurturing. The kindness connection. Patience invites everyone to nurture the garden of the fruits of the spirit. Kindness offers assistance to everyone in the garden. Goodness shares stories of helping others. They highlight how kindness and goodness go hand in hand. Joy's Dance Party Joy sets up a dance area and encourages everyone to dance. Love explains Love explains how spreading joy can brighten others' lives. They all dance and laugh together. The Peaceful Resolution Faith and Peace Meditate under a tree. 
a disagreement arises between impatience and patience. Faith and peace step in to emphasize the value of peace. The strength of self-control. Self-control showcases discipline in taking care of the garden. Others express admiration for self-control sustained in the face of challenges. Harvesting the fruit. The garden is now flourishing with different fruit. Love suggests they share the harvest with community. Spreading the blessings. The fruits of the spirit distribute their fruits to the community. People's faces light up with joy as they experience the fruits of the spirit. What a wonderful group of friends we have in our fruit of the spirit garden. These qualities can guide us to become better individuals and create a more peaceful world. And that concludes our skit. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the fruit of the spirit. Have a great day. Now let me introduce you to the cast. We have Shahid as Joy, Rachana as Love, Emily as Peace, Patience as Yovan, Jeswita as Kindness, Joan as Goodness, Angeline as Faithfulness, Dorothy as Gentleness, Vaishnav as Self Control. Amy as impatience, Yuk, Daniel and Amy as community and we three narrators Kenneth, Isabel and me, Dia. with a dance performance.
feet tapping. Now, let us stand as Jaden leads us in prayer. Close your eyes and bow your heads. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we come before you today with thanks and praise for this fellowship. We are here. We are here with a desire to cultivate all the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit in our lives so that we may reflect Christ in character and bring glory to His name. We make this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Before we conclude, I would like to invite Anaya for the vote of thanks. Gratitude is the best attitude to our Heavenly Father for helping us conduct this special assembly. We thank our principal, Dr. Jerry George Matthew, and our vice principal, Ms. Ruth Manoj, for giving us this special opportunity. Our thanks to our coordinator, Mrs. Agnes James, all our teachers and the music department for being a pillar of support and guiding us throughout the program. All the technical arrangements had been efficiently made by our field staff and we are thankful to them. Last but not the least, I thank all the participants, audience and our dear parents for making this assembly a special one. Thank you. Thank you, Anaya. Your words of gratitude remind us of the importance of unity and appreciation. I now hand over the rest of the assembly to our vice principal. Thank you. Good morning, dear staff and students. I think we've all been richly blessed this morning with that very powerful uh, special assembly put up by class 5. So let's show them our appreciation by giving them a huge round of applause. And the coordinator, the class coordinator, class patrons, and associate class patrons, and most importantly, every participant who worked hard and strived to uh, make this morning assembly so successful. And the beauty of this assembly was uh, the powerful theme, Fruits of the Spirit. And if you noticed, right from the decorations on stage to every performance. It seemed to blend so beautifully with the theme chosen. So thank you once again class 5. I have two announcements to make boys and girls. You will have a house meeting today and this is only for classes 6 and 7. I repeat house meeting during the short break only for classes 6 and 7. The venues are as follows. Barton House will meet in the KG Library, Redwood in the Auditorium, Theobald in the Old Basketball Court, and Wilcox in the School Field. I repeat, only for classes 6 and 7, Barton in the KG Library, Redwood in the Auditorium, Theobald in the Old Basketball Court, and Wilcox in the School Field. Tomorrow is Friday, and uh, Classes 9 to 12 will meet in the school field for the morning parade and aerobics. I call upon Yudhika and Sidan to make an announcement regarding the, the, the Hindi enrichment program and after which Tina, the president of CLADS, will make further CLADS announcements. Have a blessed day, boys and girls.
हिंदी फोर्टनाइट के लिए आज ब्रेक और लंच समय में ऑडिशन ऑडिटोरियम के सा, सामने आए वहाँ पर हम आज क्रॉसवर्ड का खेल खेलेंगे और संगीत का कार्यक्रम भी होगा धन्यवाद दोस्तों यदि आप भाग लेने चाह, चाहे तो कृपया ऑडिटोरियम के सामने आए यह कक्षा छह से आठ तक के लिए है धन्यवाद <laughs> 